typically they have to go out and find it though, so these are just Yeah, but in the winter they ones. can't get out because oh, of the rain yeah. and there's no sugar. So they're eating their honey stored. I've got mold in here too, which is not a good thing. Mm. It means my hive wasn't ventilated enough and got wet. Take some pictures of them if you want. It gets so sticky, stick things together to seal cracks, and it's also an antibiotic. What's it called? Propolis. Propolis. Interesting. It's an antibiotic. Yeah, I felt like I've heard that Like before. if you have a cut or something, and you put the propolis on you, it will help your cut heal faster. A lot oh, that's of people cool. eat the propolis for an antibiotic. This is just a natural. Um, they get it from tree bar or tree um, resin, mostly mm -hmm. poplar trees. Interesting. But they can get it from certain plants too. I'm not sure of all the plants and stuff they get it from. Propolis. Mm -hmm. That's cool. It's that brown, really gooey stuff, and that's why you have to use this to scratch it off. Pop the hive open and stuff because they have that all over. Okay. Use it, to, you know, to seal cracks. And if they were out in the wild in a tree or mm -hmm. in a hive, yeah. it open because I pulled it apart. Oh, right there. Yeah, all that's babies. Oh, wow. So, their queen's doing fine and laying babies. I have to get rid of They'll clean it up themselves, but I'll do it for them. <laughs> So that's all the bee wax that they yep. make their uh, honeycombs out of? Yep. You, you give them these frames that kind of start. See how the frame's like that? Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of wax on it. Yeah. Then they build them up with their wax. And unfortunately I think my drone frame's all the way in the bottom. Mm. <laughs> Drones have bigger eyes. Mm. And they're bigger. So drones is just the name for males, for basically. Male, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Drone. Don't want to do it too often. Because I just spend more time. Yeah, they have reading. to repair all the damage I've done. <laughs> that's cool. It's it's a glue and antibiotic. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They line the entrance of the hive with it too, so that everybody kind of gets cleaned off when they come in. They get that antibiotic on them. That's really cool. to create the illusion of more room in the hive, 
Mm -hmm. So they work their ways up to eat. Mm -hmm. You put this empty one next, and then they'll start filling that one, and then they feel like they have more room in the hive. Mm. replace their queen every year. This queen is two years old and I hate to replace her because she still seems like she's doing really well. Now see this was full of honey mm -hmm. and they've totally eaten it all. She's mm. really hard to find on this um, species of bees. These are Carney Owens and she's mm -hmm. really light so she's harder to find. And a lot of times people paint a little pink dot on the queen, mm -hmm. but I didn't get one on her. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think I'm going to rotate these. Mm -hmm. Can I or not? I can't decide. Spencer, tell me. Yeah, just go for it. Mix it up. You see those little white things in there? Mm -hmm. That's the larva. And it hasn't been capped yet. And some of those other little ones will just have eggs in them. The eggs are really hard to see. You see what I'm talking about? The reason you want to do that is if they start feeling they're too crowded, they'll swarm. And what they do is they make another queen cell, and then they start feeding that queen that baby in that cell, they start feeding her royal jelly, and they're raising another queen. So that's the way the hive repopulates. It splits into two. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're brave. <laughs> it doesn't sting you. If it stings you, tell me and I'll get it out. Um, so it'll split into two. The old queen flies off with the other half of the hive, and then the new queen stays mm. with the other half. But then you have the one right on your lens. Don't don't. Yeah. We need to get it unstuck from here. And I need to get this shut up pretty quick because I don't want to start bringing robbers in. Hmm. Yeah, I can help if. Do Do I need gloves? Um. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. Okay. Now that one was next, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, that's the next one. Oh no! Heavy. Ugh. Don't bust your back. The sun's also a really good um, disinfectant. So like all this mold. That's another reason why you want to put your hive in a sunny location. Mm -hmm. Except if you're in a really, really hot area. But here in Oregon, it's best to have sun. Because if they get too much mold and stuff like this, they get a disease called nozema, which is basically bee diarrhea. Mm. And they die from that. They starve to death because they. It's like the kids in Africa when they have chronic diarrhea and they are dehydrated. And Done with this 
outside. I know, I keep thinking it's me for a little bit I'm like, ugh. It's not you, I smelled <laughs> it before. <laughs> my house is infested with ladybugs every year. That's like they, my grandma's. They like to nest there and I get thousands of them. And they just smell that ladybug yeah. smell. Smell like rotting leaves. Oh crap, I just dropped it.